Right, what is going on everybody? Welcome to another uh, Python and Pandas tutorial video. In this video, what we're going to be talking about is just some quick, basic uh, column manipulation abilities uh, with Pandas. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. Make some space here. And after we've uh, created our data frame, one of the most basic things that we can do is we can do simple math with each column. So for example, we could say df. Um, something people like to do with stocks a lot is do the high minus the low. And so we can say df high minus low equals df. And then uh, there's a couple of things too we haven't really talked about. One way to reference, um, since pandas makes this into an object, what we could do is we can say something like this. Like we could say df high uh, minus df low. Or we could actually say this, df dot low. Okay, so when we reference uh, these things, we can either treat it kind of like a dictionary where we say it's like that, or we can actually do dot low. And just to show you guys, let's go ahead and print df.head. And there we go. And as you can see, we get this high minus low column, and it sure enough is the high, you know, let's say 1445 minus 1429 equals 15.77. Now, the next thing that we can do, um, besides simple math on each column, is we can do, uh, like there's a lot of things that are built into pandas. So one of the things that people like also to do is moving averages, or in pandas, rolling mean. So for example, we could say df 100 ma, for 100 moving average, equals pd.rolling underscore mean. And then we wanna perform this on what? And we're gonna say we're gonna perform this on the close column. Then uh, the next thing you tell it is how many periods that we want to use. And this is going to be, in our case, uh, 100 periods that we want to do since it's a 100 moving average. So now let's go ahead and print df. And here we can't really do df head because the first 100 values is going to be nan, not a number, because it needs 100 periods. So we can say print df 200 to 210. So now we can save and run this. And here is the 100 moving average. Obviously, the other data is up here. It just ran out of space, so it comes down here. And we can see the 100 moving average here for um, close. So closing out of that. Now, another thing that we can do is we can also perform um, calculations on other, like using other rows. And so there's some built in. It's kind of hard to do this yourself with pandas, but I'll show you guys probably in a later video how you can map functions to your pandas columns. Um, so it won't be necessarily as efficient as pandas is, but just because you don't know either what the what the command is, because pretty much with pandas, I mean, they have a lot of really great built-in stuff, but if you don't know what the exact thing is that you're looking for, or maybe it doesn't exist, you can still uh, perform function operations by column uh, using function mapping. So I will show you guys that in a little bit, but for now, another thing that we can do is we can do difference. And what difference is gonna do is it's gonna tell you what the difference is between that column and the previous column value. And so for example, and we make a new column on it basically. So we could say difference equals, and we wanna, let's say difference of close. So we'll say df close dot diff. And so what that's gonna do is it's gonna make a new column called difference. And that column's values are gonna be basically what's the difference between the current value of you know a closed column in our case, uh, what's the difference between that value and the previous value? So um, now we can do print df head, save and run it, and out pops uh, this here. So we have difference. <clears throat> Obviously, the first value is not a number because it doesn't exist, uh, or previous one doesn't exist. But then we've got minus you know nine point seven seven, which in this case uh, close. Uh, we went from 1436 to 1426, so yeah, 9.77. So anyways, those are just some basic commands. Again, there's a whole slew of them. We'll continue covering some of the other things that we can do with pandas that are built-in. And then, like I said, just because you can't find a built-in um, operation, you can always map a function to your pandas data frame or series. So um, that's always an option. So anyways, that's going to conclude this video. If you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those below. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support and subscriptions, and until next time.